Hello there everyone, Muguru here again, <laughs> and I was requested again by Giant Killer Snowball to do a video where I kind of explain events. I'm going to be doing two videos, this one's just going to be the basics. So, first off, select a part and go to the event tab. We can add one, and with multiple events we can change the priority of the events, in case they have the same conditions so that one will happen earlier than the other. And then there's also force a delete. Now you can have up to three conditions for an event. You can have a button be none, which that's self-explanatory, same as always. There's a destroyed, where if the part gets destroyed it triggers something else. And stunned or not stunned, of course. If the movement of the part is on or off, which you can also turn on from other events. But we'll get into that in a little. Then you can have the durability, a specific durability, or a durability percentage. Or if it's at a certain rank. You can actually change the rank of parts in a fight so that you can fight it on any rank and stuff will be like that. <laughs> then... There's move action, of course, each um, part has different move actions and such, like the different cores. Move frame, the different frames, like you can speed it up to a part or bring it back to a part. But that's just once it reaches a certain point in its animation. Then there's action frame and a or attack action and attack frame, which is essentially the same thing but for the weapons. You can have it be a specific distance from the player, or be one of four variables. Let's do distance of from the player. Now see, we can make this any value we want. Let's make this 10, but less than 10. Oh, let's make that 100. One sec. So, then... For the action, you can have up to four actions for each event. You can have nothing happen for a tab. You can have different variables. Uh, sorry, I'm still not exactly sure how variables work, but if I do, I'll explain them in the next video. Destroy. Destroy another part, plain and simple. That works for when you take out one, like a generator or something, it takes out part of a shield. That's otherwise invincible. That's a good way to do that. Suicide makes the boss kill itself if you fight it the wrong way. Delete, phase in. Um, never really use that. I, so I'm not exactly sure how that works. All right. Detach. This is essentially um, a deploy core. Except you can have it ha happen at any time. You can just choose one of the core parts. Like say, let's add, add pop, 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 and then make this one a small core. Or, why not, a rolling core. And then a detach rolling core. I don't want to show the blades there. But and then as we see play, the rolling core splits off and moves around on its own. <laughs> now, then there's part status, where you can change the rank of it, change the durability, the durability percentage, or the maximum durability, making it, like, giving it a different top health. Which is, I've never really had a use for that, but I bet you could use it to do some really cool stuff. Draw flag, make it hide, normal, or shadow. And you should know what those do. Hide, it's out of the way, but still acts on everything. It, it doesn't affect you or your bullets, so. Normal, of course, just normal like that. And then shadow... You see it, and it does all its stuff, but 
it doesn't hurt you or your bullets. Yeah, it's hurt your bullets, that makes sense. Ah, you know what I mean. You can play the movement or stop the movement, which is can work for any part so you can make these complex streams, which I'll kind of show you in another th in the next one. Then stop movement during specified frame. That means for a little while you can stop the movement of something for of any part for like a certain amount of time as long as that as long as it follows those conditions of course next move action you can play or stop the action stop the action during a specified frame change move action which can be cool for changing a boss a boss's behavior through the fight and change move frame which of course you can use to skip ahead or go back in an animation and then attack action has the same stuff but of course that's for weapons now I've talked for about six and a half minutes so I think that kind of is a good overview of the basics next video I'll be using my second PAI boss Pangea as kind of a template to show you how events are used like in more complex strings Thanks for watching. Whoops, forgot a little something. <laughs> now, there's probably not going to be really any video right here, but there are also two extra settings at the bottom of the event window. That you can have it not delete after execution, so it can repeat over and over, and then delete condition, or er, deletes if condition is in disagreement, which means that if you have two completely conflicting events, you can have one, uh, uh, the one with this box checked, get deleted when it, like, argues with the other one. Okay, then. I, that's enough. <laughs>